We are building the Ultra Planetary Gearbox Assembly. For this step, you will need an HD hex motor with the Ultra Planetary pinion pre pressed on, an Ultra Planetary mounting plate, a 5 to 1 cartridge, a 4 to 1 cartridge, an output cartridge, as well as the Ultra Planetary outside mounting plate, two M3 8mm button head screws, six M3 8mm hex cap screws, six M3 30mm cap head screws, as well as two millimeter Allen wrench, a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench, and a 5.5 millimeter nut driver. To get this started, you will need to take your HD hex motor with the pinion pre-press on, as well as your mounting plate, and put that onto the motor. The next step is to take the button head screws, and you're gonna to want to attach the mounting plate to the motor itself. For the step to get the button head screws in, you will need to use the two millimeter Allen wrench. Now, once those are tightened down, you're gonna to wanna to take your five to one cartridge and put it onto the pinion of the motor itself. Note that you're gonna always wanna put the higher gear ratio the closest to the motor as you can. So to do this, we're gonna to try to align the pinion with the cartridge itself. It is usually helpful to hold on to the end of the cartridge as you're placing it onto the motor. After you get the five to one cartridge on, you're gonna to wanna to do the same with the four to one cartridge. Followed by the output. Once all those are on, you're gonna to wanna to take the 30 millimeter long M3 hardware and get them started in the mounting holes to tighten up the gearbox. Tighten down these, you're gonna need your 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. You're gonna to wanna to start with any of the screws and get that tightened in relatively snug. Then you're gonna to wanna to go to the opposite end screw and tighten that one down and in. After that one is in, you're gonna to wanna to choose another one on the other opposite end. And continue in this pattern for all of the screws that are on the ultraplanetary output. This way, the output cartridge will seat evenly and apply pressure evenly across your gearbox. Now that those are nice and snug, you want to take your outside mounting bracket and attach it to the ultra planetary gearbox. So you're going to need to align the holes with the output itself. Usually getting these started with your finger is a good way to do this. Again, you're gonna to wanna to get these started in a crosswise pattern. Now 
and then go ahead and tighten them down with your 5.5 millimeter nut driver. Once those are nice and tight, the Ultra Planetary Gearbox assembly is complete. You will need to repeat these steps one more time to have two complete Ultra Planetary assemblies for completing this drivetrain.